I think most of this, I haven't checked in a while. Oh, I've kind of my hand. I think most of this ends up being there. But it's never consistent with how much it cuts off. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just take a bath here, live. I've yeah. got a little black, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's <laughs> see. I have an ad. I skipped, and we're live. Okay, okay cool. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. Do you get paint on yourself? <laughs> Um, oh, I didn't turn down the volume on my iPad. It's one of those days. Uh, we're going to paint a uh, flower today, but first I want to let you know Emily is here with me working hard behind the scenes. Hello. <laughs> um, we're going to paint an eye is for impatience. And I think, we, I don't know if Freckles has been meowing, but she's been meowing before the live. Isn't that pretty? Five by seven. That's not quite five by seven. So I'm going to grab my phone and we're going to fly over to my art table and hopefully I don't get any more paint on me. Oh, I just kicked my, <laughs> I just kicked my stool. That's funny. This happened to me last time. Oh, all the cords? Yeah, and the, and the, mm -hmm. my wooden stool. Okay, uh-oh. Oh, oh. it was yelling at me about the orientation. I thought something happened. <laughs> Okay. I was just making sure we're right side up. <laughs> yeah. Since it said that to you. Yeah. Oh, here, you probably don't want that much slack, do you? Oh, that's okay. I think that'll be okay. Okay. I, am I don't know what I said before, but. I'm still wiggling us. Yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm adjusting. I'm going to, my tape marks. Okay. My very, very fancy. You're, ta you're taped. Okay, thanks. Oh, Freckles stole Actually, my seat. I did a little better. Oh, no, I'm standing on it again. You stole my seat. How's everybody to do. doing tonight? Sounds like Freckles, my cat, stole Emily's chair. She stole it. Stole? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want this one? It's got your little... Thing. We give her the best uh, chair in the studio, hoping she'll leave us alone. Usually she's um, she's been up a week for quite a while. Usually she settles down by now. Okay, so I printed out the photo roughly five by seven. I'm going to put a towel on my lap, so hopefully... Uh, the one time I don't wear an apron, then I get paint on me. Okay, is that going to work? So it's not quite 5 by 7 And then I scribbled on the back of it with some pink, and then traced it with a ballpoint pen. So I just thought I would... I just left that on there. Oh, the reference photos on pixabay.com. The link's in this video's description. I'm going to paint around the flower tonight so that I don't have to hair dry or do a swap like we did last week. That's so funny. I feel a little kitty wampus. I think that getting the paint on me threw me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the littlest things. Okay. Do you guys, um, in the Midwest, we plant impatiens around trees in the shade and they're really pretty and they get bushy. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that because that's making me nervous. I got a painty paper towel. So, surprise, surprise, we're using my primaries, mine, in quotes, titanium white. Do you guys want to, I'm going to show you. I can't, I, can, I think I've asked before if you want to see the bottles. Titanium white, uh, cad yellow medium hue. I've been buying it pretty much in the larger tube because I go through more yellow and the white too. It's cheaper. Uh, Quinacridone magenta. This I buy in whichever I can find, the heavy body or the, the basics. I see people. <laughs> um, the yellow blue green shade, one of my favorites. That's right here. And then Mars Black. Okay, and then uh, just right before the live, I mixed green with quite a bit of yellow and thalo, some thalo blue green shade. This is actually a, a lot of yellow and just a pinch of Mars Black, and it makes that kind of Pea green, maybe. Nah, it's yellower than that. I don't know what color that is. It's a very warm green. And then I was mixing darker green over here. And I think I'm just going to use a flat brush of some sort. That one's kind of small. Maybe we'll go a little bigger. And then as I grab this one, I don't know if it's any bigger. Barely. <laughs> I had one. I wonder if I left it in the bathroom. All right, we'll just use this one. I don't see anything else sitting here. Okay, Emily, I think... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't say this is a 5 by 7 inch canvas panel. 
I've been buying them from U.S. Art Supply. Um, some of them are the same as like half off at Michael's and some of them are a little bit more. But their general regular price is cheaper than Michael's. So I've been checking that out lately. I get it on, you can either go to their website or you can go through Amazon. They don't have everything through Amazon. And they are not sponsoring this video. Now, does that set the table? I paint, nope, not quite yet. I'm sorry. I painted this with two coats of white just to see if I could knock the texture down a little bit, but I don't know if it really did anything. Okay, Em, I am done. <laughs> okay. I'm done for reals. Okay. <laughs> sorry, hun. You're fine. Um, uh, Joy Lynn sent a $3 super sticker. Oh, and it's my the goodness. Little, it's the little pear, and then he's he gives you a little kiss. Can you see it? Um, yeah, I'll look. I was just trying to figure out where to put the traceable so I don't get uh, chalk pastel on me. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Joy Lynn. I really appreciate it. Let's see, and so far tonight in the chat with us, we have Suzanne, Leanne, Cindy, Lucinda, Wendy, Melinda, Susie, Bonita. Let's see. Oops. Two? Uh, oh, and, uh, I read it wrong. My eyes read it wrong. Um, we have a Melanie. I thought we had two Melindas for a second. I was like, dang. And Joy Lynn. Wow. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. So every so often I'm doing an alphabet and we're up to I is for impatience, um, which I never would have painted an impatient if it wasn't that I'm doing. And it's mostly just prompts to help me figure out what to paint. And I'm thinking like if we keep it simple and small, somebody asked me quite a while ago now, you know, is it better to paint a bigger painting or a bunch of small ones? I didn't know how to answer it then. And now I'm like, oh, paint small ones and paint not too small. But um, paint smaller ones because you can get more in, move on to the next one, maybe learn something with each painting, that kind of thing. If you do a, like a three foot by four foot, it takes you so much longer. So you could paint the whole background. But as I think I already mentioned this. This way I don't have to swap like I did with the Pooh Bear. What's nice is if you paint the background, then you can have all this dark background. You can bring up the values in the flower a little bit more gradually, which I just did that. I'll show it to you in a little bit. I was working on a, a chicken and a hen painting today. I'm just varying my color. Um, Wendy asks, uh, what did you put on the back of the tracing paper in red? Oh, I, I always I skip stuff. Thank you for asking. Um, it's a chalk pastel from Hippie Crafter. I like that. I don't have one on me. Um, so I just held it up to a window or a light and then I can see the photo through it. You can't really in the video. And I just kind of sketch it out and scribble it. We used to do this in, when I was a kid in school to make basically um, carbon paper so you could trace things. Um, there was a Hippie Crafter chalk pastel because they're not quite as dusty. That links in this video's description. I also like the Prismacolor, which I happen to have one up here. It, they're a little bit, this one's even a little harder, maybe. I'm not a pastel expert. And so the harder, the less dust you get. Um, it's not a big deal if you use, I think this one's a very cheap brand. I don't remember the brand. I get a ton of dust with it. It really doesn't matter. I just like, personally like, a little less dust. And then I use the chalk pastel because a lot of times it'll um, dissolve right into, whoops, I didn't want water, dissolve right into the painting which is nice. Sometimes it doesn't. And then if you let your background dry and it's going to depend on where you live, you can erase it or lighten it. Um, if your background's kind of wet when you do the traceable, it'll stick in there and you just have to paint over it like it was graphite or something. Yeah, see, I waited a couple, at least a day, and so I can pretty much erase. Mm -hmm. So those are some nice features, but like sometimes I'm just impatient. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, you know, jump in. Well, and sometimes the weather, if it's really humid and I've waited a day and then do the traceable, um, I'm like, what's going on? You know, I can't figure out why it's sticking to the background. I like to paint the sides because I sell these in like little metal easels. This is going to need another coat. You can see how transparent that is. My 
my yellow is semi-transparent and my quinacridone is semi-transparent. I think the black's supposed to be opaque. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that little box is filled in. Um, but it, it's not painting like it is because this color is just a pin. Well, that's because it's mostly yellow. If I think about it, I know the answer. It's because my yellow is pretty transparent. You could do a bokeh effect. Oh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Maybe not right now because it was a little too wet. That would kind of work if you, um, that pumpkin video, you kind of use similar colors. Mm-hmm. Mm. I sort of did it in the jellyfish. I, we're going to do a jellyfish. I haven't painted one in such a long time. But that'll be, I think that'll be next month when we do J for jellyfish. Um, it has a little bit of a bokeh effect in it. And there's a traceable for the, I'm going to use the same traceable when we paint the jellyfish again and just paint it differently. I think that video is about a year old. You don't need to look it up, and I'm just talking out loud. Okay. I yeah. can. Uh, it's up to if anybody wants it or. You can use a green. One thing nice about um, using. I always feel I always feel weird saying these are primaries, even though the magenta and the yellow makes a beautiful red. Um, let's see what I'm doing. I'm making a green here. It saves on money. You don't have to buy every paint. The thalo blue green shade in the magenta makes a pretty purple. Oh, it's kind of black. I don't know if I'm too worried about that. Okay, got a hunch cam going, honey. Do you? <laughs> yeah, because I try to... Well, um, I'm, I like it better when I don't see the phone in my peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. So then I hunch under it. <laughs> not that I stand up very straight anyway. I, I'm not great at that. Does it feel like 2023? No. It really doesn't. <laughs> I feel like Christmas is still coming. I know, yeah. It just kind of like came and then it was here. It, I, it felt so weird. I, I don't know why. It just still feels... It does. I'm with it didn't you. even feel like 2022 by the end of 2022. I'm with you. I brought a noisy cup. Oh, that's all right. Metal one to my ice rattles. <laughs> I have a metal one too. I have one for my my merch store to throw out a shameless plug. My little merch store. Mm, I don't know if I asked if we have a. We do. Okay. We have a commercial. Well, I want to thank commercial. people. Yeah. A commercial. Is that how you used to say it? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm breathing loud tonight. <laughs> oh, I have empty masking tape rolls in case you want to know what my high tech um, platform platform. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. I don't know that I need to paint out this leaf, but I also don't want to forget that I want it there. The downside of semi-transparent colors, if you want them to be opaque, you got to add a little white. Here, we'll just do that. Um, or layers, or both. And I'm trying not mm -hmm. to get paint on me. Wow. That went opaque fast. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. like the transparency. Sometimes um, I get comments on YouTube that people don't. But I get it. I mean, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. I like it because I like to, because then you don't really need to do anything to glaze. It's already a transparent color. Grab a little straight up blue. Keep in mind it looks better here. Maybe it doesn't. 
it looks better maybe at a bit of a distance than it does up close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll pick it up once it's dry. Yeah, did it look a little worse? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and sometimes people are like, I want mine to look like yours. I'm like, well, you know, that's not going to happen. You have your own handwriting and way of painting. And, um, and the other thing is, too, the video smooths it out. Which is okay. I mean, you would view it, the painting. Like you might see it and then walk up to it kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, something, someone was talking to me about this on YouTube not too long ago, or in the comments. So, um, I'm going to clean out this brush a little bit. One thing, oh, I don't know, you can't tell really. This brush is has more bristles. The, oh, I didn't say what it was. Number 12 Zen line from Royal and Lang Nickel. This is a craft smart brush, number 10 from Michaels. This is, has fewer bristles, but you can also get a thinner edge on it, which you might like. Whereas, where's one that's thicker? Actually, this one is thicker. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. Um, it came in a packet at Michael's. I don't remember. I don't know if it has a name. So sometimes you might like a little cheap craft brush when you want thinner, mm -hmm. thinner, um, thinner lines. In theory, you could, I could get this thin if I thin out my paint and not load the brush up so bad. I tend to load my brush up a lot. But as I was trying to cut around the stem, I'm like, oh, sometimes those cheap brushes have its advantages. And maybe this one's just getting old, too, because I'm having a hard time keeping a point with it. So I'm going dark for the in the background for drama. Boy, that felt really quiet. <laughs> Are you thinking? I was watching you. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, it did get like it was like dead silent. You're not crocheting. No, I didn't bring it. I brought my my iPad today. Oh yeah, you did. I tried not to yawn because then everyone else is going to yawn. But maybe when pointing out that I yawned, everyone will yawn now. <laughs> Last time I said the, um, I'm going to say the A word, not like the bad word, but the turn on the device A word. Oh, yeah. Female, yeah, don't female say name. That. I won't say it. <laughs> yeah, everyone goes off. Yeah. I like her. I ask her what the weather is every day. Huh, I don't have one. I, was, I have a, I don't want to say her name. I have the Apple version on my watch and Oh, yeah, I computer. guess I, if I'm not near her, I'll, I'll ask my phone. I usually just don't even think about it. I don't, I'm not used to talking to machines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I use it. Ours is in the kitchen because I set timers. Oh, yeah. I mean, totally okay. I mean, sorry, was I sounding judgy? No. No, no, no. I'm just old. I'd probably love it once I got used to it. Well, yeah, because you can just um, say blank, insert whatever here. Because there's also their brand, so you could get like a... Um, yeah, doesn't Amazon have a brand? That is the Amazon one. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's a Google one. I don't oh, know if there's... A, I don't know if there's an Apple one. Like if there's a specific box for it. Oh, I don't know either. I mean, because your phone, obviously you can do it on your phone, but I don't know if there's like a specific Apple one. Um, but uh, you could just tell it to like play a specific type of music. Oh, I could. Um, you could tell it to, if you hook it up to your Spotify or something like that, if you have an account that has playlists, you could um, tell it to play a specific playlist, that kind of thing. Oh, I bet I would like it. Mm -hmm. I could say play so and so's podcast, couldn't I? Yes, you could. Leanne says I love my insert name here. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I, I think it was last live. Yeah. Oh, and I'm like, oh, oh, not cool. Just going back and putting some more. Oh, I forgot a whole section. I'm kind of liking this down here where it's got more paint. I'm a little worried about how long this will take me, but this is a start to finish. Every once in a while I get someone who's like, 
why didn't you show that, you know? <laughs> like, well, time and, you know, or upload, depending on what, if it's not a live, like, well, upload mm -hmm. my editing time, then Emily's editing time, and then upload time. Now I, feel, I sound like I'm whining. I feel like um, we need the, like a Jaws, like the Jaws music, the dun dun, because every time Chase pops in, <laughs> Because potential shenanigans happen when Chase pops in. It does. Um, but Chase popped in with his nine ninety nine and his goat emoji. Oh, Chase, man. Thank you for spoiling me. I really appreciate it. Chase is the bomb. Mm-hmm. Well, now, now the bomb.com. I don't know what that's from. Is running through my head. I don't know either. I just know I use it. Um, oh, is it? I, that's why. But... I told you that Chase got his desk, right? Oh, yeah, I did. We haven't unboxed it yet. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. We haven't unboxed it yet because we had to, we um, organized wow. the sliding. office first, and then we'll put it together. My paint was sliding up. Um, yeah, that'll be fun to see. Yeah, I'm excited. And then he got a chair. That's really cute. I'm um, still spending money like it's Christmas. I think that's why I feel like it's Christmas. You are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still like, yeah. It's like Christmas res because we're spending our Christmas money. Yeah. Um. So I'm just thinking, since I have black over here, put some black over here. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to. I think I want a thinner brush. Chase's chair just took me back. Cause, like I was, um, he got to pick out like the fabric and stuff. Oh, fun. So I was like. Looking at the double rubs of the fabric and the oh the went back to interior design yeah days. the cleaning codes and oh did you get a little sad no I mean yeah <laughs> but no I've gotten my fix we got since we've gotten the table and I got to pick out a rug for the table and. I got the lamps for our nightstands in. Jeez. You guys are rich. Oh, sorry. That was supposed to be just sarcasm. <laughs> no. Sorry. Those are my Christmas lamps. Yeah. And my Christmas rug. Well, and you've been like target points and saving money. And... <gasps> yeah, I love the... I think the Chase and I went to Target, speaking of, and um, I was telling him that I got one of the lamps for when we were checking out because he's like, oh, yeah, don't forget to put your points in because we got that cubicle thing oh, yeah. for the basement storage and um so it would make our grocery bill higher than normal obviously and he's like oh yeah don't forget to and, I, and then so I was like yeah I got one of our lamps technically for only like 20 bucks because I had whatever amount of target circle points and yeah. I think the lady the little girl that was like checking us out started like giggling at me but I love that. I was going to save it until yeah. I got enough points to literally pay for one lamp. So then it's like buy one, get one free. But um, I didn't want it to like, I didn't want the lamp to disappear. Yeah. I'm just putting another layer of color on. Just changing the color. However, I'm not too worried about it. But anybody that doesn't do target circle points, you really need to. Well, bet all our Canada fans don't. <laughs> no. I, okay, speaking of. Because they don't, I don't think Target's in Canada. Not anymore. Um, it went to Canada. Yeah, I just we saw, had this discussion. We had this discussion, and I literally just saw a TikTok about it today of somebody that I follow that, um, a YouTuber that I follow that's in Canada. Yeah. And she was t talking about, like, how they had Targets. Everyone was excited. Like, basically everything that we talked about is kind of funny. funny. I was like, I know this. I know this already. <laughs> that is funny. Well, we have a lot of Canadians, which I think it's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm thrilled, but I don't know why. I mean, I, just because we're in the U.S. doesn't mean we're going to get U.S. viewers, but. We're probably, we're technically I closer to Canada than probably to Texas. <laughs> actually about the same, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, um, maybe that, maybe I just was making an assumption I didn't really realize. Mm hmm So one thing nice about winter is it, whoops, not dry there. Can you see how it lifted up right there and have like a, a blob? I was about to say it's nice in the winter, it dries, <clears throat> excuse me, fast. And then I, ah, it's lifting, so I'm going to try and dab it and then let it dry. Go over here. Just 
straight up some straight up phthalo blue. I think this part's one of the most fun parts for me because I'm just like a little kid finger painting mm -hmm. almost. Just playing. We have 27 friends. Oh, hey, 27 friends. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like when you, um, I like when it starts to look opaque. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Satisfying. Well, and I like good paint coverage, which is funny. Okay, I want it to go darker. There we go. You can see that, like, the paintbrush is... It's like drying, but it's a little tacky, so it's grabbing. Oh, know? yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint the background, and then I'll do a thank you. Oh, yeah, you got four minutes. Okay, cool. How are we looking? Oh, I want to paint that, but it's going to lift. I'm not crazy about over here. <clears throat> yeah, like I kind of hunch and then stick my backside out. It works pretty good. Can you see me up? Oh, you're typing. Yeah. You're typing, I'm sorry. Oh, that lifted up. I don't know if you guys just saw that. That was kind of quick. I like to paint. I won't get, I can't see it. I like to paint the sides. I think I already mentioned that. <clears throat> I don't know that I needed to mix some of these greens. I'm pretty much picking straight out of it. Oh, I did it again. I forgot about it. I start talking. Just let that dry and come back to it. That's for me, not you guys. <laughs> I'm yelling at me. Maybe, um... Ah. Too much white. Don't want it. I feel like I'm painting kind of strangely, but I want it to be random. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to be kind of. Oh, I just, sometimes areas just don't cooperate, and I don't I don't give up when I should and come back to them. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I'm just trying to make it look. I like to line things up, so I'm trying to stop myself from doing that. Do we have pretty good coverage? I think so, at least on camera it looks that way. So what happens too is when the acrylic paint dries, it shrinks a little bit, I think. This is uh, the world according to Annie. I don't, I've never heard anybody say this, but it'll like pop a little bit and you'll see the white canvas below. Oh, I keep going over that spot that lifts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to make sure I have, there, I lifted it again. Can you guys see that? I mm -hmm. keep... Yeah, every time you've lifted it, you can see. Okay. I need to probably stop. I can feel it sticky when I brush it. You could tell like that it was grabbing. Oh, that's interesting. So now I can't... It's going to be fine because it's not going to show up. Like, I'm obsessed with that spot. And the funny thing is I won't see it. Nobody will see it later. Mm -hmm. So I've got a little bit of a bokeh effect going on. Oh, there is a video where I painted it live. I painted two backgrounds. One, the... was, one was a bokeh effect. Oh, okay. I was also thinking and the pumpkin. Bokeh... Okay, the pumpkin is what I was picturing. Yeah. Oops, I kind of just want better coverage there and I'm not... I'll say in the videos, the regular videos too, like stop and I don't. Okay. Stop! I'm going to wash out my brush and think. Thank you, guys. Oh, my green my, my green sleeve might be clashing a little bit with my background. <laughs> okay. So I just want to take a second and thank Sandra O. Oh. She bought, I painted two of the poinsettia red leaves, mm -hmm. eight by eights, and she bought one just a few days ago. And if, Sandra, if you're listening, it's on its way. It got picked up today, so I would think you'd be able to track it by now. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
And then Jill A and Dina L sent money to support the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Yay. I keep, my palette keeps sliding up. I need to, um, here, it's kind of, oh, we don't have a light source either. I am going to stick my kneaded eraser. I usually do top left for a light source. It isn't, maybe even just top. I didn't paint that blurry one back there. And I think this stem is actually going to the blurry one back there. And I think, because there's the center. Oh, I'm painting with that. <laughs> I'm pointing with that kneaded eraser. This center lines up with this stem. But I changed it a little bit mm -hmm. and just made that stem. That. And then I didn't, oh, one other thing is the bugs are eating the leaves, but I, I don't think I'm going to paint that. I didn't know Sandra O oh was a fan of yours, Ian. Oh, <laughs> like Sandra Day O'Connor? Is that the one? No, <laughs> just Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh. She's in... Um... I knew you met somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but you know the actress I'm talking about? Um, all I can think of is Sandra Bullock. Oh, no. Sandra O. Oh. She's in... You didn't really watch Grey's Anatomy with me. No. Um, what else is she in? She's the principal in The Princess Diaries. If you remember that. Oh. I don't think... A little, I'm trying to picture, all I can picture is her friend right now. I'm going to do one more thing here. So I was mentioned this a little bit ago. I don't know if I can get it in here. I'm wondering, do you guys like um, drive-by? <laughs> or I was also thinking photobomb. If you want to put in the comments, you don't have to. Or if you want to put in the comments or put it in the chat, if you like uh, drive-by or photobomb for the title. Or if you have a better idea, you can, can let me know. Mm -hmm. And what else? I was going to mention this for some other reason, but I don't remember what. So that will probably come back to me. I, I just, love the colors in that one. Thank you. I just fin finished painting it today. So I sold Henny Penny, which is... So I tend to paint another when I sell one. I paint another... Like, if I sell the structured gel one that I just took to the gallery, I'll paint another one. Because mm -hmm. um, when they sell, that's a good thing. Okay, I don't like the towel on my lap. I need a bigger one. All right, I don't know. If that's it's probably dried enough, and we could just do straight up pink and white. I might actually mix a little since I'm going to use quite a bit of it. So quinacridone, magenta, and white. Oop! I dropped a sticky. Oh. I'm going to keep a. Either a tally or, or like new um, chicken painting name ideas. Oh, yeah, thank you. Because a Wendy voted photobomb. I think I vote photobomb. Well, I like drive-by, but it also sounds kind of dark. It does. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and the comments. I mean, if it's after, you know, if it's a year after, I might not use the title, but I might use it in something else. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get comments, I'm like, wow, this video is two years old, you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've moved on. I mean, not from the video, but from like the title idea. Yeah, that painting has been so old. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm, Christine says, um, cockadoodle bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I'm going to actually paint a little. This is a brand new number one Princeton. Woo. I'm going to paint a little yellow right in the center. Oh, look how transparent that is. Grab a little white. We can come back and make it more yellow. Actually, I wonder if I want to lighten. So I'm doing that to remind me. This impatient really doesn't have a ton of yellow in it. It's very pink. It's very Pepto Bismol pink and some red. I'm going to make some red. I feel like I need to pick up the pace here a little bit. I'm going kind of slow. Or an orange would even work. Mm -hmm. Am I? Okay. I looked at my iPad. My palette was sliding up tonight.
kind of, I like to, I over mix. You don't need to mix that much. <laughs> it's a pretty orangey color. It is. I'm thinking it might look redder. I might actually paint some of that. You know what's bugging me is I'm going to pin my reference photo to my bolt board there. Because I was looking through my water jars to see it. Mm -hmm. I think I might just do that. Maybe I want a little white to make it opaque. Which it didn't. <laughs> I kind of painted over the stem on purpose thinking that would look kind of good. No, I'm painting it back in. <laughs> Whoops, that's wet. That didn't really do much. It is kind of orange. See, this is why my number ones wear Go out so fast. fast. <laughs> You're swirling them. Well, and then I wash them a lot instead of like switching mm -hmm. or, or, or being efficient in painting, you know, a lot of the same areas, the same color. And I really need to get this one out of my hand because I'm going to start painting with too small of a brush. Mm -hmm. um, it looks red kind of. Maybe I'll put red here. If my light's coming from over there, let's put some red over here. Red-ish. And then let's put... I'm gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna put some red over here. Cause this looks out of my painting. Mm -hmm. So that's one reason why I want my light over here. And then let's put, really I see in the, whoa, I've got green on there. I don't know where that came from. Well, it came from there. But. Uh -huh. Let's try that again. And I don't know if this is gonna show. We'll just f figure it out. I'm gonna put some red here. It just goes on thin. Let me know if that happens to you guys. It could be the Liquitex. It could be the water in my brush. I know the color's transparent. All right, let's get rid of that little brush before I start painting the whole thing with a little brush. Nothing wrong with that. Totally can do that if you like. I love to do it. It just isn't as efficient or fast. And I'll get tighter. I've been working on... Oh, that was what I was going to talk about with those chickens as I've been trying to paint. So I've been working on more color and more contrast and more values for a couple of years, pretty much since YouTube, because YouTube is when I became a full-time artist. Um, and then I'm also not working on looser. Okay, let's put in, I'm gonna grab a little bit more water I'm just going for kind of a medium pink, and then we'll see how it works from there. Lucinda says, if you don't use PayPal, what other ways can you send money to support your channel? Venmo. The, um, I don't have a P.O. box yet. No. Um, I've been looking into it. If it wasn't, you know, if it's not very expensive, but it's a monthly fee. Mm -hmm. So I've been scared to take that on yet. Mm -hmm. um, PayPal, you can get a one-time access code. They don't keep your info. Of course, if you don't like PayPal, you don't. That's okay. I'm not trying to talk you into it. Mm -hmm. um, but you can just use your credit card in a one-time, get a one-time code. And the link's on my Tracewell page. It's on my About page and uh, YouTube. Otherwise, I, I, get, I take Venmo, too. Well, then, um, have, I've never used it because <laughs> I've never used it for any other channel or I guess, and I've never donated to you, but, um, there is a, 
it's different in every spot and I don't know where it would be on phone if you're watching on phone but if me just looking at my desktop um there's underneath the little chat oh this the thanks button yeah there's a show your support um for any tro it's a little like dollar sign thingamajig and um you can do like super chats or you can just think of any video that too you can do super thanks now yeah those kinds of things. I forget about that. <laughs> so far? Oh, sorry. No. Was... Um, and so far, Photobomb is winning. Okay. I do have a list, but so far, Photobomb's winning. Oh, good. I think that was what I was leaning towards, but, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily know what's going to sell. So my paint dried, and I can see like little white specks where the green is. I didn't see it before until I started painting this. Mm -hmm. I might just go over it with a little pink. I like that pink against the green. Yeah, well, you're flirting with compliments. Mm And one thing I didn't think about is I was a little messy with my green. And I don't like how it, well, I really don't know what matters, but I don't like how it was cutting into my flower. My hair might be in the live stream right now. I can feel it on my phone. You know what I'm going to do is mix a, just a little bit. I've got a hunk of white in there. Probably just a pinch. Mix a darker pink, kind of a, it'll be a purple. Boy, that was hardly any phthalo blue. <laughs> I don't know if I could have gone smaller with the yeah. phthalo blue there. Oh, am I sliding up again? I think I am. A little bit, but it's all still in frame. That's funny. I don't know if I always slide. That's a pretty purple. If you don't want to mix purples, I like I have prism violet and I have um, oh something light. What is it? Oh, I just stepped on the microphone cords. Oh, brilliant purple. That's pretty. And prism violet. But there's lots out there. Just because I have those doesn't mean like go buy those. Liquid text does not sponsor us. <laughs> but one day Ziploc will. Oh, I used to say it. I, I think, think that's that so is, funny. I think that'd be so funny. I think that'd be, I, I swear, I, I think I've mentioned it before. I think I saw that somebody got like a mayonnaise deal or something. Oh, you did? Yes. And I was like, oh, oh my sorry. God. Oh, Siri. <laughs> Siri, my watch is like, what did you say? Um, you didn't say Siri, though. No, but if you, like, talk, if you, I was had my hand close to my mouth, it'll go. Oh. No matter what. Um, I bet I can turn that off, but I don't know how. That'd be a chase question. But anyway, um, I, so I think it'd be so funny. I swear I've seen a YouTuber get a mayonnaise deal or something. Or, like, an online personality, something like that, get a mayonnaise deal. I think it'd be so funny to have like a simple. <laughs> that would be. That'd be really funny. So she's saying that, oh, I don't have one here because I, I stick these uh, styrofoam plates in a gallon baggie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to joke, gosh, maybe, I don't know how long we've been doing the lives. But some of the first lives, I'm like, we're going to get a Ziploc deal. A sponsor would be fun. Mm hmm. That would be hashtag made it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. I kind of mix feelings about it. Of course, I don't, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cross that bridge, but I'd have to like, like if it was paint brushes and I did really disliked them, I don't oh, think yeah. that, would, that wouldn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, you're not gonna be. Like, Although I'm pretty, I'm pretty loose with the paintbrushes. I'm not too picky about those. Yeah. I was trying to think of like something. You know, like you're. I was trying to think of something that would be like insane. I don't know. I don't know. Like you know, it's not gonna be like a lawn mower. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're a painting channel and. All of a sudden, you have an ad for a lawnmower. <laughs> Funny. So I'm, I'm just, I'm not totally following the reference photo. I'm just um, changing it up a little bit. Painting straight out of the tube, which is fun. And I'm not getting any darker. I might have to wait, wait for it to dry. That's where a hair dryer, if you don't want to move on to another section, just get out your hair dryer and paint. So this petal is pretty much almost coming, it's sort of coming at us. I really can't, actually I think it's darker the whole way up and I've done it differently. Maybe I'll change that. I had it just, I don't know if you can see the purple part. It was coming right at us. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I like to change things way sooner than I need to. Let's just see what happens here. Does this one need a name too? Oh yeah, they all, all they all do. And this one could be funny, like or fun to play with, because it's be impatient. Yeah, it's an impatient. Well, I just googled before the live how to say impatience. <laughs> yeah. Because I want to say impatient. Impatience, yeah. With a T. All of a sudden, um. And then Emily says it iPad? wrong. Yeah, was that your iPad? That all of a sudden I just hear impatient. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Impatient. I did that with quinacridone. I don't know how long ago. Quinacridone. And then I just immediately go, impatient. And yeah, like, I'm like, don't. Yeah. What helps, too, is I can see they did it. They spelled it out phonetically, so I can see that in my head, too, which really helps. Yeah. So it was like, impatient. I'm like, oh, that really helps. Because you could do something with the impatient. So you'd be like, I don't know. Not impatient? Um, yeah. Or it could be something about the petals. Pepto-bismol? pepto, -bismol. pepto -bismol. And then put the little trademark or like oh, the yeah. copyright logo with yeah, it. We, we can't do that. <laughs> I don't know that they'd come after me, but I just still can't do that. Yeah, I'm anxious to see if the Pooh Bear with the green sh shirt sells at the gallery. Yeah. I put on the tag, you know, 1926. Winnie the Pooh, public domain, mm -hmm. the you know, the red shirts, trademarked. Oh, really? Yeah, because they're going to ask. I just assume. And then the person working, I mean, why would they know? You yeah. Know? Yeah, I saw that somebody already painted a they did in Winnie the, the Facebook Pooh. group. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't, were we, where were we together? Were we just watching shows and you just go, oh, their snow's better than mine. <laughs> and I was like, dang, their snow is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great. I don't remember what we were doing. So far, I'm not liking this. Just I think that's kind of important to say sometimes. It just takes a while to develop. I'm liking the thinner brush and this little painting. I can control it a little bit better. The craft brush. I could pick it up and paint it. I was holding it, leaving it down because of the background. Tia says, I started an oil class today with an art professor from Ooh. Vanderbilt. Ooh. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> good luck. I hope I can get as good as you in all caps. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you should go back. And, I mean, you don't have to watch, but just go scroll back a couple of years on YouTube and you can see the improvement. Um, nothing like painting almost every day to really help. I have not, I don't paint in oils because I don't like the dry time. Um, I would like it while I was painting, but I don't like it for shipping, selling, uh, photographing, sending it to my agent, that kind of stuff. And then the chemicals, um, I, I know you can do, a, it's way better now, thousand percent better, but I still didn't want to mess with that. But mostly it's the dry time. I don't know if I like this, but I'm just going to move on. 
moving. What's nice is I can go over the green and it really won't show. It might just make a black edge. Oh, how do I want to do that? I think I kind of want to grab my number one. I think I'll just grab some blue. Let's kind of paint this dark. Ooh, it's not flowing. It's still painting kind of fat on me. I must be pressing a little too hard. That might be too dark. I can see where the paint's dried and popping in places. Mm -hmm. It's gonna bug me. <laughs> we can't see it on camera. If I bring it up, you might be able to. I was gonna, you know, did, did you hold it up? I was gonna say, you didn't have to out yourself. <laughs> it looks crisp on camera, so. Yeah, it, it um, softs it, or smooths. Smooths it out, like, mm -hmm. you, like you stepped away from it which we talked about. Yeah, there's plenty of artists that don't worry. Oops, I can see a water blum. That don't worry about that, but I, I just, it just not my thing. We could paint, I don't know if I'll have time, but you could paint a soft one back here. After it's dried, because this that quinacridone is transparent, just like paint it with one layer. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I move along, let's see. I've got awfully dark there. Let's go a little lighter. We want some light on this side. I might have to come back with some white to remind myself where my light's coming from. I'm really not mm -hmm. thinking about it. Well, you've covered your sun, so you can't even see where he's coming from. Oh, I have kind of. I need to. Tia oh. says, so pretty, Annie. Thank you. It's getting there. Miss Sun was under the palette. Little Miss Sun. Yeah, I like just swapping back and forth between the pinks. I sliding up again? A little bit. That's funny. Why am I doing that tonight? Susie says, yes, it's gorgeous. Oh, you guys are so nice. I think it's funny. I'm not so nervous to paint live. I'm nervous to talk. <laughs> like, does that make any sense? I don't think it makes any sense. Well, I don't know if I'm so nervous to talk now. <laughs> a little rattled when I got paint on myself and my pants and my new shirt. At least it was white on the white. Yeah. Well, and it is a paint shirt. My brain, I always, I want to go tight, mm -hmm. which isn't bad. Actually, you should, well, should. I mean, there's no shoulds in art. Don't should yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't should on yourself. Yeah. Um, but I think if you can paint tight, you can always loosen up. If you can learn to draw well, paint pretty close to reality kind of thing. And it's easier to, I think it's easier to loosen up. Hmm. Lucinda says, thanks, I have to catch the rest on replay. Thanks for coming, Lucinda. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Tia says, Annie, what is your background? Have you always painted? No. Um, sorry, I'm thinking here. Um, I was one of those art kids from really little. And then I was one of those kids, I'm 59, and we had awesome art classes in middle school. I think I could take one or two classes a semester. And the teacher was super good. <laughs> So that was a nice start. So I painted a little there. Um, took classes in high school. Same teacher went on to the high school, which I was so grateful for. 
um, and took classes in college. I took art and graphic design in college. But I was always a drawer. I didn't. I really didn't take painting at all. Um, and then taught myself to paint, really. Because I, I was a color pencil person. So I already, already understood layering and colors. And Oh my gosh, I went to three colleges, so I had color theory at three different colleges. Because they all think theirs is better. Mm -hmm. So all those things help and add up. Um, I was a calligrapher, not professionally, but I was really into it. And I, I don't, I'm not going to show you here, but that totally helps you with a flat brush. Mm, it, knowing how it's going to move. Mm -hmm. Can kind of do calligraphy strokes with it. Jennifer says, no way you're 59 with a bunch of exclamation marks. Oh, the camera smooths <laughs> things out. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you chubbier, but smooths things out. Okay, I kind of like that one. Well, we've done that once before. You're actually... I'm 59. Well, no, yeah, oh. but you're two... I don't know where she's going. We did the change. What would you be in change? Oh, I used to say I was double nickels when I was 55. Yeah, but yeah, so I don't you're, remember. you're a nickel and... You're going to make me do math and paint and talk. I guess you could do it kind of two different ways, though, because then you could do, like, your two quarters and four penny... Or, no, your two quarters... <laughs> a Draw it out and you can see it. A better, nickel huh? in four pennies. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Sorry, I talked over your. I'm going to change this. Yep. Emily looks like she's 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you laughed because I just threw it right out there. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, I mean, she's. It's, it's not, I mean, you're short, honey, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I, I don't know if that upsets you when I, I'm not that tall. I'm five, five, but, um, you know, no makeup, you're shorter. So people just assume, mm -hmm. you know, you and you and my son look young anyway. Hey, I passed for, what was it like for the zoo pass? Technically they cut the child age off at, I don't know what it was. Young. I think they cut it off at 18. Yeah, I don't remember. Anymore. So it's been a long time now. And uh, Jack was, I was in college or I was a senior in high school maybe. And Jack was well into college yeah. or out of college. And, you know. You're telling people we cheated the system. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just wore like my, um, or maybe, maybe I was out of college because I remember, I think I, I wouldn't have had many middle school t-shirts because I didn't really, I got more like high school t-shirts for some reason. Anyway. I think I wore like my old high school t-shirt, no makeup, and I passed for however young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, there isn't, the only thing, the only thing about my reference, the reference photo on, I think it was, I said Pixabay, is there isn't a real strong light source on the flower. Mm hmm I think I'm going to make... I'm looking at my reference photo, but I also think I'm going to kind of, and we could maybe even leave this white, but I'm going to put this in here just sort of as a reminder. Actually, this petal probably should have been lighter and I painted it darker. If the light's coming from up there, Miss Little Miss Sunshine. I don't know if I like that. I've been, that's the name I've been calling it lately. I don't know. I thought it was a a boy but well everything's a boy for you i know but he kind of you know there i like that a little better i'll be giving it little eyelashes because a girl oh all right it can be mr sunshine then. <laughs> what's it say in the shop in the spread in oh the, yeah let's look the merch That'll shop be the... emily drew the sunshine this is where's the sticker. original sunshine yeah, that's right does here. he still live yeah she drew it in color pencil and then laminated it with uh, clear packing tape. That's Emily lamination. Emily lamination. <laughs> because I was using this gross thing as the sun. <laughs> I needed an eraser. <laughs> She's like, you need this. I'm like, oh, I do. I think I might leave this. Well, shoot. Leave it alone and paint the leaves so we can keep moving forward. That's... I'm probably going to warm this up more than is in the, in the reference photo. Mr. Sun sticker. All right, it's Mr. Sun. I've been mislabeling it. Mr. Sun. 
Mr. Sun? No, that's a different song. Oh, no, it's not. I don't want to sing on live. <laughs> Something about Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Is that a song? Da 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 da. da I'm singing. I don't da, know. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Please shine down on me. I can only think of the one that's the Mr. Sandman one. Oh, Mr. Sandman. Mm hmm. <laughs> so I kind of made a greener, grayer, warmer, all those things. Greener, grayer, warmer. Ooh, I like that greener, grayer, warmer. Isn't that pretty. This is cooler. Just I mean, you don't have to, pretty. it's just playing with color and value. Grab a little bit of white. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, I keep forgetting to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Emily's singing. It's stuck in my head now. So, those straight up whites, chalkier looking, which isn't bad. We can come back with a little yellow, especially after it dries, if you want to warm it up. You might be able to get away with it while it's wet. Okay, so let's go a little. So, this green is that green, so phthalo blue and yellow. I just dropped my towel and a little bit of black. Or maybe, yeah, a little bit of black. The black's really strong. So maybe green it up a little bit. So, I mean, it's a very simple painting, but I think it really helps with practice. Um, I think it's fun, lower pressure. You know, I think all those things can be important. Don't want to do a pet portrait every day. Well, maybe you do, but to me those are much harder. I kind of lost my edge. Do I want that edge? I think I do. Grabbed a little bit of white. I love that green. Look I like green. I, so. I mean, I don't do this anymore, but normally I'd spread out my palette more. Of course, I could have today. Um, so you don't hit another puddle and pick up color. Mm -hmm. uh, or even use a much bigger palette. But I like to, I mean, I've been, I've been videoing everything I'm painting. Mm -hmm. Well, almost everything. I didn't paint the cardinal I'm giving away in a couple weeks. The cardinal painting, I didn't video that. Um, but more space is helpful. Don't, don't think you need to do what I'm doing here. One of these days we'll have a different setup. I know that looks messy. I'm just trying to sh shift color. Ooh, too much water. Can you guys see that? The nice is I've got two coats of white, so I don't think it'll underbind. I've never had that happen. I've just heard a couple people talking about it on YouTube. And then it scares people to use water in their paints. Scare me too. That's really making that pink pop. Yeah. Now that there's less white. Yeah. Or next to no white. Yeah. That's why I like the artists, I talk like I'm not an artist. And we'll tell you to block it all in, get some paint down. Yeah, so you, you can, can see what it will actually look like. You can see it a little bit better. That's so smart. <laughs> yeah. I don't always follow the rules. It's almost like they kind of know what they're talking about. I know. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, you can, just as soon as you follow all the rules, and part of art's breaking them, too. I'm sorry, I got into painting the side there. Let's go with this kind of, I don't know what color to call that. Lori says, just joined, and this is pretty. Thank you. It's intense in person. It is intense. 
getting some paint down so I can let it dry and come back and put some more paint down. Jennifer asks, what does underbind mean? Yeah, um, I've never had it happen. So I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I want to be honest. Yeah. Um, Google it. But I think, I th I think okay. it doesn't stick and it cracks or flakes off. Um, it doesn't bind together. But you don't, like if you take two acrylic paintings, even though they're, these are varnished too, you don't want to store them face to face because they will stick together. They'll bind together. So if you have too much water, I'm guessing, you know, then the paint won't bind. It might, I don't know, if you have a thin layer, it might flake off. I have just never had that problem. Hmm, I'm Googling. Okay. Um, I feel like it's a little bit like with pottery where it, you get, is that crazing, Emily? Is it crazy? When it, yeah, crazing. It, crazing. Mm -hmm. um, it cracks and flakes off or it kind of shears off. And um, my oh, go ahead. extensive knowledge about crazing is that do not eat off of or drink out of a bowl or pot or pot, pot I guess bowl, glass, whatever that has crazing. Oh. What if it? What if the glaze is just cracked? That's it, and then it's leaching the chemicals of the glaze into. Oh, I what think you're I've eating. got a bowl. And that's what I always had to tell people when they would take their stuff home. If this starts crazing, don't eat off of it. I thought it was when it sheared off. No. See, I don't really know. No, if it starts crazing, don't eat off of it. Oh. Both Emily and I used to work at a uh, paint your own pottery place. But that was a long time ago, huh? Let's see here. I'm Googling still. Yeah, it's looking better. It could be done. Other than I want more um, coverage. Acrylic paint. Kind of have warmer to cooler, which I don't mind. Just notice that I did that. I'm just going back and touching up where the paint shrank. And I have a little white spot so you probably can't see. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, I'm clearing the throat. I'm going to take a drink. Avoiding underbinding with acrylics. Acrylic paint, that was off to a rough start. Oh no. <laughs> Acrylic paint should be diluted with, you're breaking the rules is what now I'm, as I'm reading ahead. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Acrylic paint should be diluted with a medium, not water, yeah. to avoid compromising the color with underbinding. The pigment in the acrylic paint is held together with a translucent binder and adding water dilutes the proportions of the binder to pigment, causing underbinding. Can I stop and you a second? Compromising the paint. Yes. If you add matte medium to the paint or any kind of medium, you're still compromising the pigment level. Oh, okay. Is that what that's saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> so, I mean, you're still going to dilute it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It always, um, matte medium always. It makes it more transparent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is I'm that sorry. what that's saying though? Because my I read it, but my yeah, I didn't comprehend it. But that to me is an underbiting. That's just um, oh, okay. That's just uh, transparency. Mm. Well, Go that's ahead, what keep underbinding reading. apparently is. Is that all it says? Um, no. So the demonstration here, which I can't show you, uses a professional acrylic glazing medium and professional acrylic in green gold to show how adding drops of water to wet acrylic surface. And or and letting it sit for only a few minutes breaks up the binder. When the drops of water are wiped away, the paint is removed as well, revealing the consequences of adding water to acrylics. Let me watch the video and I'll tell you how dire it is. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I've seen, but I don't know. I know every artist at well every. I know many artists add water to acrylics. I don't think it's that. Mm -hmm. No, no. Because you want to thin it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Have it flow. Well, and then flow paint, flow, a soft body, mm -hmm. probably has more water in it. Because you need it to evaporate. It's not just, um, I, well, uh, I don't know. I'm saying stuff I don't know. <laughs> um, I feel like I've seen like liquid ticks or golden add water, but I, I can't remember specifically. 
Water's a solvent, so it probably they don't want to um, guarantee something, but they don't know what's going to happen. Maybe touche. I, I don't know about if that's true either. I'll be quiet. Emily's trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'm watching, and I think this man's talking that I should probably be listening to, but I'm not. So we're just he's I'm gonna take it off of his actions. Okay, so he's placing water over. Both. I'll slow down because I'm thinking about underbinding. <laughs> what do I want to do here? Oh. Okay. Wait, did he let it dry all the way? Ask that again. I didn't fall. Um, sorry, I'm talking to myself, really, oh. I guess. Let's see here. So... I'm just putting more layers of paint down while Emily's reading. Okay, so he puts the where the water will take it, like remove the paint. It's still wet. Like he's applying it to the. Oh, it lifts. The yeah, and I'm like, duh. I guess in my brain, duh. Yeah. And also, not to mention, I'm just gonna say he pretty much thinned, like. <laughs> The acrylic down to like almost a thick watercolor consistently. Cons consistency. Like, yeah, whereas when, mine still looks creamy. Yeah, like you know when people paint with Here, I'll do it. watercolor and they do it really heavy, so it almost kind of looks like, like acrylic this. paint, but like wet ish, like a lot thinner there. still. Yeah. Yeah, like it's that he, that's how thin he painted it. So I'm not, you know. I'm not worried. I've never had a problem. <laughs> well, Although it's also, only been two years. But. So it's um, basically like. He puts the water on it wet, and then he wipes it away with a brush, and on the other side, even though he let the other side dry, I guess, like, it doesn't come off. And so, if anything, you sealing the painting would... Oh, yeah. I don't know. My theory is is I'm, I'm going to, no matter how thin I get it, I mean, you don't want so thin that you can't paint with it. Mm -hmm. Unless you're painting on paper. Um, yeah. You can totally paint, use acrylics, like, similar to watercolors or similar to a permanent gouache that doesn't wake back up with water. Um, on paper, you can paint as thin as you want. Um, I don't like this right here, so I'm lightening this up a little bit, and I'm going to come back and fix it. Okay. Underbinding is when you use too much water in the base of your paint, and it destabilizes the paint, making it flaky. In the base. Yeah. And I have two coats of white on here before I even started. And then I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it. Mm -hmm. To me, that just seals it up and sandwiches it, and it's all going to stick together like those two paintings I said would stick together. Mm -hmm. And then you can't get them apart. Eventually, you cannot get those two paintings apart if you put them face to face. Mm -hmm. um, to me, I think it just all kind of seals down. And then I then I use a um, polymer varnish. It's a permanent liquid text varnish. I'm like the, my paintings are glued. <laughs> well, so if you but if you do want to water down your acrylics that much to for a look, um, I, I guess unless you do seal it. Uh, it, the, every, uh, now I'm on a Reddit, they're suggesting to, um, I don't like use this. a medium like that because it will just flake off. So it'll flake off. Yeah. But you have to get it, I mean, pretty thin, not like just re-wetting your paints to, cause they've gotten tacky. Like you, like how you really, how you just did, how you, for that little blob, you added the, a lot of water. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I hope that do answers we, do we, Jennifer's Are we totally question. confused? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Um, it's just adding too much water to acrylic paint is all it is. And you really won't paint. Mm -hmm. Unless you're painting on paper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Basically. So I don't think you need to be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. I've heard um, other YouTubers that are somewhat similar to me um, talk about it like it's a much bigger deal. I'm like, no, you're just not going to do it. It's just, you're not going to get, I really don't like that pedal. I need to move on from it for a while and then come back to it. Um, you're just not going to really do it. Yeah. You, I think you really, really, really have to thin it. Yeah, and it won't stick. Well, that's the point. That's exactly it. That's the underbinding. But I mean, it won't, st you'll know. Yeah. Like I have this puddle here mm -hmm. and it just won't even... I mean, eventually it'll dry, but it won't really do much. And it won't even, of course, that styrofoam 
but, it, but like it'll this, play golf. this holds the puddle. This won't even hold the puddle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't think you need to worry about it too much. Yeah. Thanks. Um. Man. Yeah. And Bonita says, since the sun is quite predictable, it certainly cannot be considered feminine. With a crying, laughing emoji. <laughs> so it is a Mr. Sun. Okay. Thanks, Bonita. I stand corrected. <laughs> I like being. I like that. I like being corrected. I don't. I think that sounds bad. I don't, I don't mean it bad. I'm just trying to. There we go. I'm trying to get an edge, and then I'm not happy with the edge. I kind of got stuck because my brain stopped painting and I started thinking about underpainting. <laughs> Which is why Emily's here. Oh, that's how I paint. I keep knocking it with my finger and then it scoots forward. There, that's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy. Well, I'm glad whoever asked, thank you so much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to explain it better, but the next time, but eventually. Too much water in acrylic paint breaks down acrylic paint. It won't stick to a canvas. It's the 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 short gist of it. Well, it makes sense because you wash them out in water. Mhm. Mm yeah, but I think it's. I've heard. I don't want. I don't want to say names, but I've heard them talk talking about underbinding. I'm like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Mhm. Mm I don't think you can paint. I mean, you can. I suppose you could have that really wet paint on a. Even still, if you have a primed canvas, it's going to stick into that. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to underbind. If it once it dries, you pretty much just have the primer and a little bit of pigment left. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not a paint chemist. I'm not a. Yeah, you can tell I'm not thinking because I'm mixing paint that I don't want to mix. Okay, back to painting. Oh, I know what I want to do. I kind of want to. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I want to put a little yellow down and I want to put some pink down. So don't worry. Actually, you might like that too. There's not a lot of yellow in my reference. Ooh, but it makes it juicy. Yeah. Mm, Lauren says, I'm late but here. Hello from Wisconsin. My first time tuning in to a live. Oh, hey, Lauren. I think I know who you are. I mean, I don't Ooh. know who you are, but Ooh. I think I recognize you from the comments. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We had a big discussion about underbinding. Should we do it again? <laughs> I liked it. I think I, I don't know, I don't know if you get it, but I get it. I think I do too. Okay. And I just don't think it's a problem that some other artists make it to be, out to be. Yeah. I might be wrong. It's well, a, I don't think you Straight up opinion. I, yeah. And what I think is I don't think you're adding enough water for it to be a problem. You know? Like you misting your paints. To, for them now I'm to trying to alive. think instead of paint. Sorry. <laughs> no. Um, you, you're not making it soup paint. You I think know? you have enough layers that even if you had a, a really thin layer, it's going to, once it dries, mm -hmm. it's going to glue itself together because all that's going to be left is pigment. And... Oh, so if there's no polymer. Yeah, there's no polymer for it to stick. Left, so it just flakes. Then it might. Yeah. I think I got what you're trying to tell me. Was that it, Em? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> you just diluted enough where, like, it becomes obsolete, I guess. Yeah. We're painting with plastic. It's pretty darn archival. Which kind of bothers, that bothers me a little bit. There. I'm just playing with values. I'm going to have underbinding dreams. Underbinding. <laughs> I keep having, okay, speaking of dreams, I keep having, and I had one last night, and I think it was about Maya. I keep having dreams that the cats are getting out, and I, I'm i having to, like, fetch them and get them back in. Like, oh. I had a dream that Chase and I were in a house that wasn't our house, and it all had, like, lever doors. And I think, like, I had left, I was bringing something in from outside, and, like, I had left some, and I left the door open, and Mango got out, and I... I would call her and she would come to me and I'd just scoop her up and put her back in the house and then there was like a window that was open. And then so she gets out the window. And then and then I'm like, "Okay, everything is shut, everything is fine." And then I turn around and she figured out how to open the doors, like the lever oh, doors. Well, kind of like losing your cats. Yeah, kind of like mittens. Couldn't she open the lever door in the basement in the laundry room in the last house? I don't remember. I I'm sure I'm sure you're right. I just I can't right. Anyway, now. 
So that was a lot. And then the next night I had a dream. Oops, I don't like that. For some reason I was somewhere and it was like half school. So like it's like a school dream, but there was a a weird, I don't know, like. It's better. Water area in like, it, but it's kind of like an indoor pond type deal. And it's just like foliage and stuff. And Mang kept like hopping around and I couldn't get her. And she like hops in the water and then she just looks all raggedy and soaked. <laughs> like a little wet rat. And she wouldn't go in the cat carrier. And there's something with Maya last night that she wouldn't go. She wouldn't. She kept trying to get out of my arms or something. I'm going to come back with pink. I'm just bringing up values, bringing in some warmth. Oh, that's no fun, hun. I know. I'm going to go back and work on the leaves for a little bit. I was working hard for in my dreams. You could feel my brain working with the... Yeah, the undermining. <laughs> yeah. That's why I kept re-explaining it. <laughs> I'm like, I, this needs to be solved for you. Well, really, that almost looks like it could be underbinding, but I think it's just... <clears throat> it's just thin paint. Thin paint, yeah. Because um, that's a very yellowy green. Uh, Lauren asks, do you ever paint anything in a series or make something that is supposed to be sold as a set, like two canvases? So like a diptych, I believe. Is that what that's called? Oh, well, you could. Or a triptych would be in three. You could. Um, not often. I did do a landscape. Um, oh, yeah. You it was to. called Nebraska Skies. Left and right. Um, for licensing, they really say, I license my art on products. I might have a wall decor, so I probably should be doing what you're talking about a little bit more often because you... A lot of times they say you should do it because you'll sell two instead mm -hmm. of one. Mm -hmm. um, no, I guess I really don't very often. I'll do a lot of roosters, cows, and um, those kind of flowers. Bees, it's going to be bee season here. It's kind of neat when they travel from one painting to another. I've been painting a lot of small ones because those are the ones that sell. Mm. Lauren says, a big fan of your landscapes. I love Nebraska skies. Yeah, I wanted that one. I was going to... Yeah. If no one was going to take that one or if it wasn't going to sell, I was going to nab that one up. I had, I, one of the galleries is Ginger's Hang Up here in Omaha. They're a framing studio and gallery. I had them frame it and it sold right away. I know. <laughs> yeah. That, that was sucked. Funny. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No. No. It's better that they sold. Yeah. Well, cash flow. I think they sold either a very early house or pre me having a house. Like, I wouldn't have had anywhere to put them, but now I would have put them, like, Oh, that was bigger. Above my nightstands. It's not covering like I want. I think I just need to leave it alone and come back again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of fun. It was sagey green with a little mm -hmm. rusty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But overall, quite gray. I'd probably do it differently now. My, I think my sky was just Mars black and white. You haven't done a, lands a farmy landscape in a long time. No, I know. I need to. I'm, well, I've been painting little things. Well, I did the barns, but that's not what you mean. Hmm. The sinking barn and then the mm -hmm. storybook barn or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Lauren says, I love how they travel from one painting to another, too. Could totally see your floral style across a set of canvases. Yeah. That'd be cute. I haven't. I might for the show in June. That'd be cute. Yeah. That'd be cute. But then what I think, too, is like, I don't want... This huge, you know, I don't know how huge it'd be, but I suppose I could do three small ones. Yeah. Um, like, I don't want, I don't want paintings in my house. I don't want to, I don't want to have my house full of paintings. I'd rather have them have good homes. Yeah, because those that would kind of have to sell together. Yeah. I should do it. It's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I don't do it very often. I could only come up with one example. I'm not I know. liking that edge. I think. Let's see if I can. You've done them on a personal level, because isn't that it's an old? I mean, like old, old. Like when you first started painting on canvas, sunflower that has buttons on it. Isn't that across a couple? Oh no, you have the. 
you have the in the your master bathroom the stripes the brown stripes oh yeah that's across a couple that's a we can't show you it's too big it's a um just an abstract sort of mm -hmm. just stripes stripes and texture that was mm -hmm. fun Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, I've done it a couple times. I've only been, t I mean, I was painting in watercolor and doing beginning watercolor classes. I don't know how long ago I need to look that stuff up. Because um, I was trying to license my art in watercolor too, but there's so many artists doing watercolor that I switched to acrylic and I started getting more licensing deals. I don't know where I was going. I forgot. Is it gone? It's gone. Okay, can I say something? Yep. Jennifer says, I'd love to see any paint chickens with chicks falling in the second canvas. That'll be so cute. That'll be so cute. <laughs> would be cute. It would be so cute. Thanks for the great idea. And then there's like a little, it could be, a, oh, so what's that one famous, is that a famous painting or is that just what's in every history book? The like, um, the Neanderthal person to like today's person. You could do the shells <laughs> no. at the very edge of like the little chicks. The progression painting. of a chick's yes. life. So and it's more you, scientific than. It is. <laughs> and then you do the chicks. Like they, you know, they're kind of like little waddled away from their little shells. And then, and then um, the big chickens. That'd be so cute. That'd be cute. Also, part of what I do is for speed, you know, and ease. Um, simple. Like this is kind of a flower portrait. I have a feeling I'm going too slow here. Um, just cause I'm trying to be, oh, I don't know what to say. It sounds like I'm obsessed with money. I'm trying to make this work. So I wanna make sure I can sell the painting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can do a YouTube video on it. So that's nice. That helps a little bit. Um, and then if I can license it, that helps too. I was trying to, I swear. So I tend to do quicker things too. I don't do like a big, long. Although I just did a huge cow face. Mm hmm. I don't know when that's posting. We did it two lives ago? No. Or was that last live? Are you talking about the huge cow face? Yeah, you painted part of it on live. Oh, I did. Yep. No, last live was a pooer, wasn't it? I think, yeah. So maybe two lives ago. I don't recommend painting and talking because I keep messing up here. I was going to look on your pixels because I swear you have another one that does the two, but maybe not. I thought you did. I thought you did. There. I'm just playing with the values. I'm not sure. This looks like a pickle to me. <laughs> a pickle? Um, I don't know that's bad, but once you say it, it's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because then I pointed it out to the world. It has kind of a pickle color. Hmm, maybe you have it. I just I swear there's done another many. one. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, it, a lot of it has to do with like, oh, I need to get a video done. Oh, I need to get this uploaded to YouTube. I need to, you know, get this painting down to the gallery and the little ones sell. So. I could I could do two little ones. I hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. um, Gravy says I found out I can't sell for profit with like the Psy emoji. Oh, no, um, no. Has to be sold at cost, or I could lose my disability benefits. There goes my hopes oh. of doing a gallery. Such a life of a disabled veteran. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's kind of like when you're retired, you can only make so much money. Ugh. And if you want to get. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of the word. Um, I know. Yeah. Social Security. Yep. Yeah. I had a coworker that was, she was just like, when I worked at the gym daycare and that she had that problem, they would always try to schedule her for way too many hours. Yeah. And I'm like, stop. She can't. Yeah, that's, mm, that's weird. I'm sorry. That sucks. But, that, but you could sell it for a loss so as long as your business doesn't show a profit. Yeah, I guess. Like, uh, or I guess you sell them at cost, yeah. but then you're not making a profit. I've kind of been doing that lately just to move paintings. I'm, there, It's a profit, but it's not much. But it brings in some cash. It's better than sitting in my house. That sounds so depressing. I don't mean it that way. It's just sometimes <laughs> you just do things to 
do it works. Okay, I'm gonna. The reality of life. Is that too? Is the bottom leaf too yellow, Emma? Or is it? Oh, it looks okay on the, on the live. The what? The pickle leaf. <laughs> Does it look too yellow? Is that what you asked? Yeah, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay because you got a really it. yellow petal. I was gonna attack it, but I think I'm gonna go back to the flowers and we'll call it good. Oh, I did start my timer. You're at uh, seven thirty now on the dot, so we're fine. If I'm or I'm fine on time, if you want to paint a little more. Okay. I'll see if I can finish this. Um, uh, let's see. Leanne says, "So pretty, Annie. Thank you. Love the little paintings. There's a lot to learn." Yeah. Yeah. I th I have progressed faster, I think, painting more smaller ones because I can paint more of them. Mm -hmm. But here, see, when I take a little bit of a thin quinacridone Ooh, juicy. and go over the yellow, I think that's really pretty. I might have too much yellow. If it's everywhere, yeah. it's nowhere. There, that, that helps because you're kind of losing that little century bit you had. I tend, lately I've been going warmer than the actual real life. I want more of a highlight here though. I kind of got rid of my highlight by doing that. Mm -hmm. Is that, that's kind of bright. Let's go. That's not much darker. Grab just a little bit of orange. Nope. Kind of stab it at my little pile. It's quite transparent, so I'm just kind of smearing it around. Mm -hmm. Lauren asks, do you, Annie, do you still do watercolor paintings now or mainly acrylics? Uh, mainly acrylics. Only acrylics. Well, no, I did a snowman video. Was that last year or the year before? Mm -hmm. Where I talked about, you know, draw shapes and I just, I just kind of colorized them with watercolor. Um, they just weren't, I think it's, just, I don't know, it's because the competition or just coincidence, but it just wasn't licensing. It's much faster to paint in watercolor. And then you don't have to worry about your paint strength. I was using um, pans. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I was using out of the two watercolors. But even if they dry on your palette, you can re-wet them. Um, so that was really... I just put a towel over them or something so they don't get dusty if they sit long enough. So that part's nice. And dries even faster, you know, if you want speed. Okay, where do I want Highlight. Put that back in. I painted it out. Do I want? I kind of want one here. That's really thin. The only reason I don't like that is because it's not going to dry very light. Well, actually, I'm changing my mind. I do have a watercolor booklet with some traceables and photo steps, and some of them have videos just since we've been talking about watercolor. I'm going to bring this back up because our light's coming from over here. So I do this. I'll go up and down and up and down until I kind of call it good. We could almost leave that. I think that's going to dry kind of pinkish. We might be able to call this done. I thought this was going to be a quick one. <laughs> you never know. If I'm not, if I'm painting by myself, I think I go slower because I like to um, take a break. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just gets kind of juicier and. I don't know what to call it. I was going to say something else. That's where I really like trans... That's glazing. Just 
it's a transparent color. My brush is kind of wet, so it's actually glazing a little more than I want. Here, let's dry off my brush a little bit. Let me grab a little bit. I keep forgetting to pick this one up. So I had a center line here and then I broke it and then you can come back and reinforce, reinforce a little bit of it just for some interest. Give me even some black or some blue would work too. Some artists say you shouldn't ever paint with black to mix your black and they're right. It's a richer color. Your shadows have color in them. Um, I don't think it's that big a deal. I might change my mind down the road. Of course, if I keep doing this everywhere, it's not going to be as effective. Kind of have to stop yourself sometimes. There. I'm just getting looking for paint coverage. What do you think? I'm, I'm going to straighten up and take a look. Well, that's pretty. Oh, I don't know if I like the blue in the little flower. It's very blue. Oh, it looks pretty. You like the blue? Um, I think it, it needs another bluey friend. He kind of sticks out a lot. He does stick out a lot. I just toned him down. We could make a, I've got a blue friend here where you don't see him. Grab a little bit of white. You might like mixing on a gray palette better because then the white's not throwing off the... So we could put like a little bluey friend. Where? I'm going to put him back in. I kind of painted him out. He might not be blue enough. We could... That's pretty. I might have enough blue. Stop. Let me see. Oh, you're, you're cleaning your brush. Oh, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the I just stuttered like a car starting up. Um, <laughs> the, uh, sorry, that, no, that's funny, I like that. <laughs> the blue in the leaf helped, it helped, and then, like, the little extra blue in the back. Is it giving some juice? This is where yeah. paintings really slow down. Yeah, this is where, yeah, this is where you slow down. Because then you start looking at colors, values, you know, do I like? Oh, like a little. I'm just watching the value and I know it's going to dry a smidge darker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like the little so light on the leaf. So I'm just adding a little. The little light on the leaf. This bothers me, but it doesn't in the, I think I better just leave it. It doesn't in the, uh, the live stream. Lauren says, I like the blue. It took it to a new level. Yeah. I agree. Fun. Yeah. It was, that blue was sticking out to me a lot. Yeah. It, does, it was catching my eye and now it doesn't really, my eye bounces around all the blues. I, um, yeah, I, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So now it really helps to step away from your painting. I, I forget I can look at the live. We've been doing this a while now, but I still forget. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't always have the live, though. Like you, True, I don't. You, sometimes it's your reference photo on your iPad. Oh, Emily's so nice. She helps me. <laughs> now, you could use matte medium instead of water. Or uh, glazing medium or gloss medium. Different brands have different. Look how thin that is. Yeah, I might have a 
little too thin. How do you know? Well, I didn't. Oh, actually, I'm getting a glow there that I kind of like. Look at my fingers. I always smear with my fingers. I'm willing to keep playing with this a little longer if people want to. I think to me this is kind of where the paintings. I still don't like that. We still got 18 friends. And we know. streamed 99 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we need to stop too though. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's asking a lot of people's time. Do we like the highlights? I'm not sure I do. Susie says, the painting is gorgeous. Thank you, Annie. Oh, thank you for coming. I couldn't do this without all you guys. Well, and it's so good for me. Um, I mean, I'm working. I will sell this painting. But it's so nice to have art friends. The Facebook group, I love it. Everybody has something they can share. That everybody knows stuff. I love it. Um, I see that what kind of oh go ahead gravy asks is there any pure red in the painting any or just pinks oh there's some red but I keep glazing over it true um, I mixed a little bit more quinacridone in my orange here so pure I guess no I guess the answer is no pure yeah you could use quinacridone and you mixed yeah Jennifer says I like the highlights I do too are they okay I kind of painted over that one but maybe that's okay because I want you to I want you to stay more over here. Mm -hmm. Although it's also a portrait, I don't have to be super worried about it. I might be pretty darn done. Pretty darn done? Pretty darn done. You could play more with bokeh effect in the background. That'd be cute, because it would kind of mirror the shape of the petals. I'm liking that better. I don't know if that's going to dry as light. I like it how it is now. It's going to dry a little darker. And Suzanne says, I, will, I love heart emoji it the way it is, Annie. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> I, will t I will text Emily. You know, I, I don't know if I've done it lately. but No, if, you haven't in a long time. But I'm like, do you like? Like, I really, the rooster painting I showed, the chickens, I, I really like it at, you know, two feet back. Mm -hmm. But when I'm on top of it like this, I'm like, no, I don't like this. <laughs> Jennifer says, purple on the leaf. Shadow would be pretty and tie into what you put on the flower. Oh, like I did right here. I glazed some purple mm -hmm, just a mm -hmm. little bit ago. Bonita says, I think it's perfect. Gravy says, looks awesome. I was fishing for compliments. Yes, you were. Now everyone is showering you with them. <laughs> is this shadow okay? Is it too dark? Um, uh, the one above the pickle. So I wonder if I just need to brighten that up. Is that what's bugging me? Like the, you kind of lose the edge of the le the leaf of the edge of the petal. I kind of changed what it's doing. Yeah. And I've done that a couple times where I put white on it. And then you, I, you need and to let it dry. It what? And then you paint it out. <laughs> and I paint it out. Yeah, I do that. I do that a lot. Yeah, you lose that edge a little bit. Oh, here. As long as I'm. Well, I don't know if I want to do that. I was gonna say we could put in another flower. I don't think I want to do it. I don't think I have enough time. I'll get too involved in it. <laughs> I kind of did it anyway. Going out into the green. Put one. I don't know if it's even going to show. It's too dark there. It's pretty. I want the split there. I don't want to change that. I think I have too much water in my brush. Okay. I can actually leave that hi white highlight. Do we like that? I like that. Where I gave it more edge. So if you mm -hmm. don't like the, if you want more contrast, just either darken on one side of it or lighten it on the other side. What do we think? I think we're done, and what do you think? I think we're done. It looks cute. I love the leaves. Like the pickle leaf? I love the pickle leaf. I keep seeing where it dries and then it shrinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just add more paint. <laughs> I probably should have showed you before I painted it. 
So it's just canvas texture too. And it's okay, like this makes it look a little bit like a oil painting when you go outside, paint outside the lines and get a little messiness. Okay guys, if you have any more questions or comments, I'll hang out a second and then I'll say goodbye. I've been signing with Posca pens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that is pretty, it's juicy. The blue's fun. Is this gonna? Gravy says, so if I understand, I could post a tutorial and post it on Facebook or link it on Facebook. I'm assuming he's, is that an in general? I don't know. Let's see here. Sure you could. Yeah. You could go, you could start a YouTube channel. Oh, show. You can go live on Facebook if you're thinking lives or. Oh yeah. You can put post, where else can you post tutorials? Uh, Instagram is probably the only one that doesn't really have a nice link out system. You can share them on LinkedIn. <laughs> you can share them on Nextdoor. Yeah, I'm not, you can share them on... I wonder if we're going way too overboard think, and that's not what he means. No, yeah. Facebook and Twitter, I think, are the easiest to link out to, in my opinion. I don't know. Suzanne says, awesome evening. See you all next week. Thanks for coming. Oh, look, I was all worried about that being so bright. Is it, like, the same color? Uh-huh. I don't know. So A for Anne, I go across, kind of makes the T on the right side of the A, one dot for favorite son and one dot for favorite daughter. Actually, I think that color's gonna be good. So I think that's it for questions and comments. And thanks for hanging out so long. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple discussions going. We should, probably should put in there, um, what does underbinding mean in the title or something? <laughs> You just have to watch an hour of the video. <laughs> yeah, you just got to watch forever oh, to get to it. on your FB we... page. So the the friends group, I'm assuming. Oh, can he? Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I've been telling the artists that are YouTube channel artists that they can post one tutorial a month. Mm -hmm. um, just because I don't want to become an advertising group, you know? Because it's like when I when I post the giveaway, sometimes I wonder if that's, you know, okay. Because I just want us to chat. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want, because it's not like advertising's bad. I just don't want it to get bombarded and then people can't chat. Mm hmm So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like one a month. Okay, thanks for clarifying. I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Well, super fun to hang out with you. Thanks for the help with both the painting and what stuff means. Thank you, thank you for all your support. Oh, I gotta get my art hug guy out here. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.